Importing an image sequence into DaVinci Resolve is pretty simple for the most part. All the default settings will work just as intended, but there's typically two issues that I hear a lot of people have. The one being that when you import the image sequence, it's just a bunch of images in your bin and it's not really being treated as an image sequence. So when you go to put it on the timeline, it's not like an individual element, it's a whole bunch of images on your timeline. So that's less than ideal. The other one is when you bring your image sequence in, it's going to take on whatever the project frame rate is. And depending on what you're working on, let's say if it's stop motion, that's typically a lot, the frame rate's a lot slower, but let's say you're putting it onto a timeline that is 60 frames per second. It's just going to take on that 60 frames per second for that image sequence. I'll quickly show you how to take the image sequence and change its individual frame rate. So DaVinci Resolve will do all of the interpolation that is needed for whatever the timeline frame rate is. So let's just jump over to DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how to fix both of those. All right, so over here into DaVinci Resolve, you can really bring an image sequence in any way you want to. You can just drag it from your file explorer, finder, whatever it may be, or you can actually go through the media page and bring it in this way. So I'm just gonna go through the media page because this is where one of those settings are. So right here I have a slow-mo paint, and in here right now it just looks like an image sequence. So if I bring this in, I now have an image sequence here. We can see because it's just saying that for uh, the image number 00000 to dash 0582 uh, JPEGs, they're all here. Uh, if you don't see it like that, so maybe you would see it, and I'll quickly show you. When we come over here, we can see that now it's just showing up as individual files. So if I was to take that whole folder and bring that folder in. And here we can see that we just have the individual file. So this is obviously less than ideal when we come over here and we try to drag one in, it's just going to be a single file. So that's not what we want for an image sequence. So let's go through and clear all of this out for now. And as you probably noticed, you can just come up here and you can go to uh, frame display mode and we'll put this over into sequence. And now that it's, since it's being viewed as a sequence, we can now bring that in. And we can see over here, the frame rate for this is 24 frames per second. Like I was saying in the intro, uh, that is just going to take on whatever our master settings are for our project, right? So that's the 24 frames per second. If we were to play this back, maybe that is the frame rate that you want, but if it's not the frame rate you want and you want this particular uh, image sequence to be a different frame rate, all we have to do is right click on it and go into clip attributes and here we have the video frame rate. We can switch this to whatever it is that we want. So let's say it was supposed to be a 60 frames per second and now we play it back, it's going to play back at 60 frames, all of those. Um, yeah, like you could just expect, we could you know switch this up. I think that this was actually 25 frames per second. So I have a 25 frames per second in a project that is 24 frames. Obviously there isn't going to be a ton of interpolation in there. And now it's just being treated like a single image or excuse me, like a single video file. So then we would just be able to use this and cut this just like you would think we would be able to. As you can see up here, it also says 25. We don't have to go back to the media page to change that. We can just right click on any of these, go into clip attributes and go in and change this according. And so, yep, there you go. So there you have it. That's importing an image sequence and the couple of issues that you might encounter when doing so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you do want to know more about DaVinci Resolve, I would definitely suggest taking a look at the link in the description to my website where I have over 30 hours of course material going over DaVinci Resolve. I also offer free titles on there. And if you want some more than just titles, I do offer transition slideshows, callouts and stuff like that. With that being said, my name's Jarrah. Thanks so much for watching. Until next one, guys. Peace.